Hi guys, something new today. Uh, that's a knife I found again on AliExpress and talking to one of the vendors and I took it because of the laser sheath. That's a Mad Nog style knife. And uh, it was looking really well. The vendor told me it's a really nice one. I took it mainly because I didn't add that Mad Dog uh, in that kind of size and I think it's good to get uh, all the size. I like the, 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 the Mad Dog style uh, with that kind of handle. Um, that's a really practical knife. I mean, that you, you, you don't care to abuse of it. You, you worry really that it's, it's, it's strong. It's a strong knife. It's in A8 still. So I like that still too. This is why I took it. And this is a kind of clone or inspiration of Mad Dog. So they put the bone, which is not so good, but whatever. Uh, that we know that's not a Mad Dog. And they provide it with a nice, nice laser sheath. A very nice one. Wheel laser. It's a little bit blue. It's black and a little bit blue, but I really like the color. I mean that with the sun, you can see the difference of the colors, and that that's pretty cool. It's wheel and strong laser. Nothing fancy. Doing the job very well. You see, you can see that the loop is going behind and securing the blade. It's well adjusted. You secure it this way. It's not moving at all. It's very well made, it's strong leather, I mean durable, well done, it looks like unmade, and I like the fact it's a little bit like square at the back, I mean I like the style, with the, with the, the, the blue, blue, black, and white, I mean that, I like that part too, which is protecting a little bit the handle, everything is well made, it's not too heavy, it's good size of knife, I mean that, it's not like all the very, very big knife I show you sometimes, it's thick, it's strong, uh, you have a lanyard door, you have everything, the handle is comfortable, it's in G10, so yeah. They do it in black, or they do it in uh, stone washed. So you can decide which one you want, because they have a one which is black coated. And this one is really cool. So, I have several uh, Mad Nog knives um, style. Let's say that the, the first one I bought, was uh, one from PSRK, which was well made uh, in, a, in a nice uh, Kydex sheath, well made, and it was in 14 CNA. So that was the, 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 the first one I bought. It was this one, it's a small one. I like it, but the 14 CNI uh, still is a little bit soft, so yeah, that, that's the only point. So you, you, you mark it very easily when you when you use it. But still, it was good. I mean, at, at, for the price, I think I paid that 50 euros, it was cool. Then I bought recently a second big one because I like Bolter and they have done a very, very heavy and very large one, which is Mad Dog style, which was this one, uh, the Bolter Mad Dog. So. Yeah, same kind of style. This is the three blade. Um, again, yeah, nice one. I'm very satisfied. Not exactly the same profile of blade, you can see. But this one was really cool. Too. Then I bought a small one to go with the big one, which was a very small Mad Dog in ATS-34. Okay. So that's the, 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 the last one I bought. And then as, as I was missing a size in the middle, uh, yeah. Like that, I took that one, which is released on the Ali recently, uh, which is at the same uh, Kydex and Mad Dog. I'm not so satisfied of the Kydex with that stuff because I think it should have been a little bit better. Uh, that's an A8 knife too, which can fit in the middle. So this one, I will review it a little bit later. Uh, but you can see that the full Mad Dog knife style collection I have, uh, it's not real Mad Dogs, but, but looking, looking like Mad Dog and, and well made. I mean, it's his qualities. All this knife, it's quality. Uh, whatever. Even if it's not Mad Dog, I don't see the point to pay $2,000, honestly, for a real Mad Dog or $3,000 when you can get that stuff for $80 euro out of $100 and when it's, it's very well made too. So, Let's look at what we have a little bit more on that stuff. So, very nice under G10, very well made. You can see the detail. 
you have nice bait profile, A8 steel, nice cheese, and let's look at the spec. So we have a 13.3 centimeters blade, 28 overall knife, and I think the thickness should be five millimeters. Yeah, uh, no, it's it's six. Sorry, it's it's yeah, it's not exactly six. It's five. Yeah, I think that the, I, I tested with something very precise. It was five point six or five point seven millimeters thickness. So that's still for that size of blade, pretty heavy. I used it this one. I tested it, and uh, yeah, it was a sharp when this came out of the box. Really efficient, really nice. You can do batoning. You can do a lot of stuff like that. I mean, that as a nice knife like that, very solid. I don't have any particular issue with that stuff. I think it's a good size to go camping or whatever on the practical blade. And I think you, you, what is good with that kind of, of clone of Mad Dog? This is, I would probably not abuse with a real Mad Dog knife uh, that I paid $2,000. This one, I mean, I paid that 84 euro. I, I, I don't give a shit. I mean, I don't care. If I destroy the knife, I have so many other. It cost me $80 or 80 euro to, to replace it. I mean, that, that, that that's cool. So the weight, 213 grams. And let's put the sheath on the middle. Yeah, 417 grams for the for the, 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 the weight. So yeah, for me that's 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 a good deal. I mean that uh, sometimes I have nice, good looking knives I don't want to use. I know that this one I, I don't care. I would use it. This is just a knife that I will take with me maybe all the time. And uh, I would not care that I throw it, that whatever I do, I have to do. Uh, use it as a prey bar, abusing it. And I know that if I break that, it's not the end of the world. I mean, that was a nice one. That's all. So for me, yeah, that, that's, that's good to get knives like that, that you can use really. Because uh, when you have a too good looking one, I know that in practice, we don't like to use it. I, I didn't talk too much about this one. I will do a review probably later, uh, which is the Big Brother, which is an i8 and looking the same. I didn't test it yet. I just got it, so I didn't test it yet. Um, the feeling is that actually that I will like this one in terms of size and balance in the end. And so I will recommend if you if you want one, this size and this one. Then after, if you like longest blade, you have that bolter, which is very, very good, but it's a very long blade. And uh, then the vendor told me on this side that uh, for him, this one was the best one because of the size. Me, I'm not sure what you do more with uh, like two or three centimeters difference. I agree that, I mean, that up to everybody to decide what they prefer in terms of size. But this one is really like, this one is well made. And you see the, the both in terms of size comparison. Yeah, cutting is a little bit different on this one, but yeah, I think in terms of, uh, Overall size and this one is a little slim here. I, I like this one. Oh, it, it works. Yeah, that's all for today. So on that uh, A8 Mad Dog, you can still find it on Ali if you want it. That's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.